Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven. I am the anime trainer and we are going to punch each other in the face a little bit at a time. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm the anime trainer and today we're going to be talking about something that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to show you how to use a tire sled that we built in this video uh, and show you how to use it to work your entire body. We're going to give you 12 exercises that you can do with that tire sled that can keep you in shape, especially if you don't have access to a gym like a lot of us don't at this moment for reasons. Before we get into this video though, I wanna ask you guys to go ahead and like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, do all that cool stuff because if you don't, you won't get all of the cool uh, content that we put out that talks about fitness and anime and all that stuff and uh, you don't wanna miss your gains. All right, for the first exercise, we're just gonna do a basic forward pull. You're going to take each of those loops and put them over your shoulders. You're going to lean forward and you're just going to walk. Make sure that when you walk that you have your full foot on the ground so that you can really activate the glutes. You want to think about squeezing the butt on every single step. All right, the next exercise is just a little bit different. It's a forward pull with your arms extended out in front of you. It's going to give you a little bit of different feel on your abdominals and it's also going to work your shoulders a little bit differently. All right, exercise number three, we're going to do a backward pull. So all you're going to do is put those loops over your shoulders, but we're going to be facing the tire this time. So you're just going to walk back in small steps. This is really going to put some fire in those quads, especially if you've got a lot of weight in the tire. Exercise number four is a walking chest press. So we're just going to walk forward like we did with the uh, arms extended, uh, but we're going to do a chest press like we would be doing with dumbbells or a, a weight machine. Make sure that as you come back that you're keeping the hands directly beside the chest. And when you press out, make sure that your hands are facing each other. You want those palms to face each other during that movement. All right, exercise number five is going to be a row. So we're just gonna spin that around and we're going to squat back a little bit into our hips. If you're standing straight up, when you go to pull, you're gonna pull yourself forward rather than pull the tire. So you really need to get your weight into this movement. So I want you to squat down, weight's gonna be in your heels um, and you're gonna be in sort of like a half squat position. Then you're going to pull on the loops, thinking about moving with your elbows. Don't think about moving with your hands, pull back through the elbows to activate those lats. All right, exercise number six is a curl. Ah, you didn't think we could do curls with this, but we can. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our arms out at about shoulder height. They're going to be perfectly straight. And all we're going to do is keep those elbows up and pull the hands toward us. So at the end of the movement, our hands are going to be directly beside our face. Then we will walk it back out and do the next rep. The next exercise is a tricep extension. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our hands in the loops. They're going to be behind our head. And we're going to keep our elbows up and we're going to press up and over our head. Extending those triceps, you're really gonna feel it in the backs of the arms here. In order to isolate those triceps, you really wanna make sure that you keep your elbows up in the air. Don't let them fall down, because at that point you're, you know, stupid. For exercise number eight, we're gonna do a high knee walk. So we're gonna put those loops actually over our ankles, and all we're gonna do is step forward and drive that knee up and then take another step and drive that knee up. It's really gonna work your hip flexors and your abs. Speaking of abs, the next exercise is an oblique twist. This one's pretty hard if you have any weight on this sled, uh, but what we're gonna do is we're going to grab both of those loops, keep the hands directly in front of your chest, and you're going to twist from the waist. So I don't want you moving your arms. We're keeping the hands relative to the sternum the entire time. So as you turn, they should be in the same relative position to the sternum. If you're moving with your arms, you're doing it wrong. Exercise number 10 is a face pull. And it is super, super important that you do these because we need to train the external rotation of the shoulder. And if you've ever watched an Athlean X video, you know what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab each of those loops. You don't have to uh, put your hands in the loop this time. We're just gonna grab the, uh, the whole loop as a single unit. As you start to pull, the arms are gonna hit a 90 degree angle at the very end. So it's gonna look like you're, you're making a big U with your arms. Uh, you really wanna pull back uh, with the, the hands in this position so that you're getting that external rotation of the shoulder. It's not just squeezing the shoulder blades together. It's squeezing the shoulder blades together and pulling the hands back. The next exercise is a rear delt fly. 
Uh, you're not really going to use much weight on this. You can just empty the tire and just use the weight of the tire itself. With our hands in the loops, we're going to keep the elbows slightly bent, and we're going to think about taking our hands and elbows back at the same time with the elbows lower than the hand. As we get toward the back, we're thinking about squeezing the shoulder blades together and really you're going to feel it in the middle of the back and on the back side of the shoulder. The next exercise is a chest fly. The cool thing about this exercise is you can literally just walk forward and do the repetitions. You don't really have to stop uh, because there's not going to be a whole lot of weight in the tire. So it's pretty much the opposite movement of the rear delt fly, except we are working the chest. So elbows lower than the hands. You're going to think about squeezing those hands together. And at the end of the motion, when your hands touch, I want you to think about really squeezing the chest uh, as you move forward. Because that forward motion is going to help keep tension on the chest so that at the very end of the movement, you're not losing that tension. All right, guys, that was 12 exercises that you can do with a tire sled that you can make yourself. That's freaking awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please share it with someone. If you guys like these videos, let us know in the description because we've got a lot more kinds of videos that we can do uh, for exercises with a tire sled or homemade equipment uh, because, you know, a lot more people need that now. Surprisingly, there's more exercises than I can currently think of uh, with a tire sled. So I'd be happy to make another one of these videos or a series of videos showing you how you can train with some very, very simple equipment. All right, guys, I'm the Anime Trainer. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, good luck and train hard.